Engaging with the youth even during school holidays. This is Tokoza Mjo, a social entrepreneur who promotes career literacy and entrepreneurial activities through her Beyond the Lemonade Stand program. The project was started to address the, the challenge of this defeatist mindset that seems to be prevalent in, in under-resourced communities, especially amongst the young people. So I wanted to create an opportunity to give you know, evidence to young people that supports the fact that they actually have the capability and ability to achieve way more than they think they're capable of. The story of these students from Inga Vizieli High School in Tembisa starts with Tokosa's pilot project of starting a school newspaper run entirely by 20 grade 9 learners. It has been wonderful. It has been a true revelation of what we actually are looking for within our communities and our schools. I think these skills are going to help me in the future because, uh, for example, um, I've learned how to stand in front of uh, many people and talk to them and like uh, say anything that I want to say. The, the, the program is very important, make us aware that everything is possible and it also exposes us to the world of work. And I think the program is very important and I think it would uh, mean a lot to me and my colleagues uh, that the program could multiply to other schools. Tokoza hopes to reach other under-resourced schools with her Beyond the Lemonade newspaper program, but lacks the funds and the resources. Hi, my name is Setiki Kana. I'm only 17 years old. I'm a future journalist because I work in the newspaper called uh, Beyond the Lemonade Stand, and you need to know about our story. We would like to have a school newspaper team in every school. Uh, nationally around South Africa, specifically under resourced schools. But the big thing that we need now is, 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 is capital to enable us to pad, to roll this thing out into more schools. One, two, three. Tukosa's drive and vision has inspired others to also be part of the change. I envision uh, South Africa with an educated youth, a youth that actually wants to produce value for this country as opposed to expecting handouts from the government, which has been very prominent. And so um, it's very interesting to me to see how someone is actually equipping that youth to create value. I'm tired of living in this possibility of a prosperous Africa. I actually want to live in the reality right now. And I believe strongly that engaging young people in a meaningful way as primary to making the transition. So we have to equip them and we've got to give them the opportunity to build the kind of skills that are relevant to move us from a third world to a first world. The skills are in place, the confidence has been gained and this group of youngsters are ready to become the solution to this country's most urgent challenges. Julie Shara, CCTV, Timbisa, Johannesburg.